we put together food parcels from the food bank that come in on a Wednesday. So we know that we've got them in school, ready to just hand over with no judgment. We're not here to do that, we're here to support. And we will just give those to the families and they contain enough to allow that family to have those meals at home so the child comes in not hungry. Just one of the ways staff at Moore Park Primary are giving families a helping hand. We are finding that families are on a knife edge. Um, the drop in universal credit is slowly starting to filter through to school. Social care is cut to the bone, NHS is cut to the bone, or families go for support from the GP for an access, a referral to the child mental health services. The GP will refer them back to us for us to fill in the form. We provide that emergency service. I've been teaching in Blackpool 20 years. We have never provided this level of service and it's growing and the demand is growing on a weekly basis. Bananas? Yeah. Nice ones. Okay. The school supports countless parents, like Alicia, whose son Elijah is in year four. I just thought I got up one morning and just came to Blackpool for the weekend and found a house and moved there. She isn't working due to her mental health and regularly uses the food bank. So the money I get don't really go, go far, so I rely on food bank, you know, some bread and milk and whatever I can get from here. So the school's a godsend. I, I speak to the family worker here. Um, I know last year when I was really bad, um, she helped me a lot because um, I got into loads of debt and stuff and I just, she rang me every week and just checked in on me. This is our family room. This is the area where we have small group sessions with families with their children. Gemma Cooper is that dedicated family support worker. Our families want the best for their children and they want, the, you know, they want their children to grow up and have the same opportunities as every other child. And this is why it's important that we support that. And, you know, and it's not about us doing anything for them it's doing it with them and it's empowering them i think to to be able to say yeah you know i can do this what have you done this morning before school while the school deals with bigger issues at home staff also know that little gestures make a difference too we do small things on a daily basis we will accidentally spill something onto a child's jumper because we know it needs a wash, because we know there isn't that service in the family home. We are coming up to Christmas. We know that some of our families will struggle with food over Christmas, so we will put together food parcels. That will mean that they can have a Christmas dinner. It will contain core essentials, an element of a turkey, roast potatoes, pigs and blankets, because they won't have those. Our children won't get that if we don't provide it. Um, we will put together parcels of Christmas presents based on the lists that the children will write in class as part of their letters to Santa. Moore Park Primary isn't the only school in Blackpool to go above and beyond in their role as educators, but for families it's crucial for getting through each day. We know that some of our families are trapped through no fault of their own in a cycle of poverty. We get one chance with these children, they get one chance at their childhood and we need to make sure that we give those children the skills to break that cycle. A school's core purpose is, is education. There's no getting away from that. That's the core purpose. But if you haven't got a child that's got a full tummy, if you haven't got a child that feels wanted in that classroom, if you haven't got a child that feels valued, they're not going to want to be a learner. You're not setting them up for success. And it's all about allowing that child to thrive and reach their potential. And in many cases, that wouldn't be possible without support from a school like this. Catherine Nash, Five News, Blackpool.